Yo, Vaisanti here. So in this video, we're going to talk about the weekly update that's coming into Lost Ark. So March 3rd, today, we're getting a maintenance. So it's going to be down from 10 p.m. And it's going to be down for six hours. So get your dailies in uh, before it's too late. And we have some balance updates. I'm going to give some thoughts about this. I'm currently in Tier 2. So about 1073. I'm so close to getting the last part of the the one that are in here uh rng hasn't been lucky for me i've failed so many times but anyways let's go into here so the necromancer's origin is talking about how sigmund um there's one part where he does an a, a kind of aoe blast but it doesn't hurt you it's just like a flash and it's either red or white so they're gonna make it more visible i guess so people will know um, so each player actually got to pick the, it's like color matching. You got to pick the color that it flashes. So I'm also, I'm, they're also g I'm guessing here, player forgiveness is probably giving you more time to actually go pick an orb. But yeah, that's that. So the Phantom Palace we're having here is the, with the knight pieces, right? So we have the, the, the king piece. He's doing his changing attack pattern and then the Phantom Cup debuff. Stack is applied to make a change to that. Doesn't necessarily say what. But here we have that the swords, right? There's a part where the swords will come out when they go to the center. And um, when the sword uh, touches someone, it will give a debuff. Uh, you have to touch it, otherwise you just end up being wiped. So you touch it and then the whole team will get a debuff. And you got to wait for it to be down. Then another person is going to touch the sword. So at the end, you only want... Uh, two swords, if you get more than that, you end up dying. Because <laughs> you get three stacks, you die. Okay, so they're they're changing, they're updating the they're updating this. At the sword follow player, the players two stack, they incur damage. Upon reaching three stacks, they will die. So now you can actually have two stacks instead of just one stack. <laughs> but, I mean, they, they necessarily didn't have to change that, but it's not too difficult as long as like people before the battle kind of like explain even if you go through it right uh they do have a text on the bottom but even if you go through it you try a few times and then you have someone explain it kind of makes sense um that's the way i did it but anyways let's look at this palace part here they decreasing the damage required to stagger just a part where you have to stagger her um I guess now they just decreased it, and then you all have to have increased phantom energy effect. I'm a, I'm not sure what this is, but I'm assuming it's the one we actually shooting the light at the person. <laughs> I think that's what that's called. And then they also changed the attack shape, so instead of a circle, it's just a front attack. They necessarily didn't need to do this, to be honest. It wasn't too hard. <laughs> you just have to like get out of the way as quick as you can, right? Um, so the sea of ins I don't okay so this one they this is like one of the easier ones out of that whole section there's like three parts to the gate of Paradise paradise the last one took like a while I was I have a feeling maybe they should like they sh they sh if anything they didn't need to nerf the first one if they want to pick a nerf they should just nerf the last one Aldrich just just a little bit no no don't do much. But either way, it's fine the way it is. Um, but apparently people are having trouble with this. Because you pretty much just got to go to the, the white circle. And then you, you'll be safe. Don't be in red, right? Uh, but apparently people are having issues. So this is here. Vertis, they removed the stun debuff applied when getting hit by the tail swipe move. So he one part where he was like swipe once, one side or the other side. Um, that's not too bad, right? Especially when you're playing multiplayer, it's not too bad. Cause first of all, you can just save your dash, and then when he's about to swing, he's like he does a he, there's a little time window where he's like getting ready to swing. You can just make sure to dash out of the way. Eventually, you you know, right? So it's not too bad. You just give it a couple tries. Uh, decrease the damage. Okay, this one is probably okay because that grab is like pretty quick. There's no there's no warning. You just <laughs> you don't know if he's just doing a regular claw attack or just a grab. So um, this grabbing part is fine. Jumping on ice 
if you get hit by this, it's kind of your fault because when when he actually dives, you have a lot of time. Just get out of the way. Just run as far as you can, or you can wait until he pops out and then just save your dash. Then, or if you have like a, a movement move, just use that. Right? <laughs> um, I don't understand why they had to use this one to be honest. Um, that's that's not that's I mean it's not the end of the world though. The scorpion the scorpion didn't even need a debuff. I mean a nerf. Because that was like one of the easier ones. Like I had trouble fighting the fox. Then I was like, you know what? I don't need to do my daily. I haven't fought the scorpion. Yet. Let's try it. Beat it first try easy. The way that it's like <laughs> the way that it's gonna charge, it has such so much white wind up time. It's like he jumps like this and then he charges. Just can't. so easy to counter. <laughs> But anyway, they decrease the damage though of these separate attacks. Um, most of the time, you just want to be behind him or it, so it's not too bad. But sure, hopefully, it's not too much of a of a nerf. The fox one though is it's kind of hard as a melee character because just this fire everywhere, and then you can't even get close, especially if the fox is on the fire. So I'm okay with this this part here duration. Um, I don't know if they need to decrease HP. Oh, okay, so for Virtus, I was hoping that the only nerf they were giving would just decrease the HP, and that's it. But they, apparently they had this, right? Because there's so many times where we, I was playing random, like with a couple of my friends, we were just lose at with 5%. I was playing on my ult, right? I was playing the Bard, and we would lose like at 5%. <laughs> it's like, damn, just need a little bit more. It's not so bad. Um, and we had a bard on our team that like took all three of our lives and we still about to win. So it wasn't too bad. After you play it a few times, you understand the patterns, right? Uh, reduce the effect of burning soul. Okay. That's, that's, that's fine. I guess decrease the damage dealt. I don't know if they actually need to decrease the damage, like the jump forward, the claw attacks. Most of the time you don't even want to be in front of it. So <laughs> a lot of the times you just want to be on the side or the back. Just, just. By the way, uh, so this one I believe is that lion that doesn't have wings. This is the one with wings, uh, the the holy one, and this is like the more earth one. Uh, they increase the duration of the rock attack. That's not so bad. This one though, they maybe they need to change it to make it more apparent that you need to be petrified to actually dodge the attack. So there's, there's he's gonna summon sandstorms right, and he's like charging, and then you actually need to be petrified, otherwise you get wiped, right? Um, so it's, I guess they're just making it do less high damage instead. But I feel like they should just like make it more obvious that they need to be petrified. <laughs> but anyways, um, this wasn't so bad. Maybe they just increase the time that you need to get to get petrified. That would have been a better change than this. I, I, I assume if you didn't get petrified, you, you get wiped. That's kind of your fault. And then you learn, right? So that's what it is. Earth damage. They didn't actually need to nerf any of the damage to be honest <laughs> all right this one though i had i'm very this one i get annoyed so much because of how much it moves and stuff and it's so much aoe happening everywhere and this part yes this i will i welcome this change because this change sometimes it would just summon one statue and then i'm like well uh we kill all the statues and then we threw it in there and yet he still does his uh attack because we didn't have enough to throw in because there's not enough statues. It's not, not our fault the game didn't spawn enough. So I welcome this change. This change, I feel like it should be there. Decrease damage for weak point. Um, I never had an issue with this one, but um, I can see that. I only have like two moves for weak point, but of course you can use like grenades. I mean, destruction stuff. Bomb. Is this destruction bomb? I think that's the one. But yeah, you can just use uh, bombs and stuff. Uh, to keep the challenge, I don't understand what this means when I read this. <laughs> this this encounter will not have these changes, but will be more in that in a future update. But then yet they're listening here, so I'm assuming they're adding this later. I I don't know. This it's kind of weird wording, because they want to keep it challenging, but yet they're doing these changes. So this one, I don't know why they even have this here. I never had issue with this period at all. It's, I mean, it's just one change on one of the moves, right? But it's not even that bad. It was pretty easy. This one, yeah, I, I've been fighting the tree a lot. This is the tree that spawned like a mini tree that you got to kill. Otherwise, it would be um, invincible, right? But 
I guess they lowered a weak point. That isn't so bad, I guess. I guess it didn't make it quicker. But technically, they didn't need to do that. <laughs> they got to these items. This one, I haven't fought per se. But I do know that you have to get like an orb or something to like dodge the the wipe mechanic. I feel like they should leave the wipe mechanics in here. You just learn. <laughs> you get a couple of lives, right? Um, so the heat orb, uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not too exactly sure on this, but I'm pretty close to to doing this one. I guess I'll I'll I'll, I'll won't even see the old one. <laughs> All right, so we do have general updates and bug fixes. So now you can see the debuffs of your party members. No wonder I didn't see the debuff during the the Phantom Place Palace when I was playing it. I just had to like count like three to four seconds and then I get the sword. <laughs> Alright, so now we have a top left is gonna have a time zone due to daylight savings. Daylight savings is oh, by the way, I believe this Sunday. Add an update to prevent players from being booted while log. Okay, so we did have an issue with this before where we will log in, um, it would just be stuck at 60% of the loading screen and then you get kicked off. So um, this is their, their make, I guess they're adding it as a permanent fix. Um, hopefully it fixes this because they're continuing to monitor. And then we did have mat matching, matchmaking issues, but I heard that it hasn't been too bad lately, but they're continuing to monitor in it. I believe people didn't have, they couldn't matchmake in the, the EU servers. I mean, I'm on NA West, so. But Tom, by the way. <laughs> and I do stream on Twitch, so feel free to check me out. The same name as this, and my links are down below. Uh, fix an issue where the Abyss Trader was missing. Okay, so I did, a lot of people were saying how it was missing. But it, that, that was a bug. <laughs> fix an issue where a weekly item battle stays 10 times. I never did this. But I guess it's more like a typo kind of thing. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, a lot of these they didn't need, actually need to do. Like I enjoyed this change, I would say, and then probably this change. Everything uh, and this change right here. Only this one, not not the other one. So I I think only those three need to actually need to be changed. In the abyss. They didn't need to change it. They didn't need to change any of these. If anything, they could have changed to get Paradise the last level. But I'm not even on here. So I guess that was fine, right? <laughs> it was like that one time where we took like 35 minutes just to clear the last stage. It wasn't too bad, okay? You learn, you live and learn. But that's the way it is. But yeah, check my stream out on Twitch, by the way. And I do also started Facebook Gaming. Um, it's spelled... It's the same as my Twitter name down below. So feel free to check it out. And with that, uh, let me know what your thoughts are. Because a lot of these, I feel like, are not needed. <laughs> Later days.